my yet. Ah, to a 56 degree. All right. Since it's linear. What? The angle. Do the math. You know what? Bro. Hi. Little update before we go on with the rest of the day's video. I'd just like to announce that today's video is sponsored by Not Ideal. Wait, what was I supposed to say there? Jam Attack. Just him. Anyway, guys, these <laughs> hoodies have been launched on my website, gmattire.com. If you guys want to go check them out, the link will be at the top of the description so you can buy your very own. There's a limited launch, limited amount of hoodies. Comfortable, you guys. I'm talking about when you're when you're talking about if you're cold, walking outside in the fall weather, aka the winter weather, because I don't know what's going on outside. Grab yourself a hoodie, you're gonna need it. It's just a hoodie, so you can wear it in cold weather or warm weather if you want to sweat. That works too. While you're working out, you can go swimming in this hoodie prop. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, you can take showers in the hoodie. In order to attain this, hi, I'm Blob Rob. And in order to attain this, hi. And in order to attain this purchase, one must visit www.gmattire.com. No, there's no www. Just, I was thinking you would just say gmattire.com. Hi, and in order to attain this purchase, you must visit gmattire.com. I'm Rob Lowe, and in order to attain these great fantastic hoodies, one must visit gmattire.com. Anyway guys, let's get back to the video. Welcome back right into the action. We're back with another video. Today we're doing something a little different. I got my buddy Gabe over here. who has never played golf, never picked up a golf club, knows absolutely nothing about golf, which is gonna be perfect for this challenge. Essentially, he's gonna be caddying for both me and Matt. Peter's just here. Get it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm getting flashbacks to the first day of high school golf here, so I'm kind of just reliving that right now. Right, so anyway, Gabe is gonna caddy for Matt and I. He's gonna know absolutely nothing about yardages. For 160 out, he might tell us to hit driver. We really don't know, or the pan. I was just saying, he knows about the pan. He knows yeah. how good I can hit the pan, so pan. that's all that matters. Pan for anything. Literally, anything. This guy's really confused. I know you're confused about what this is, pan golf. It's coming soon. Yes, sir. Okay, he knows about the pan. The man knows about the pan. So there you go, you guys. And we play in nine holes, I believe. We're gonna get the job done a different way, but more importantly, the way that he wants us to get it done that way. I really don't know if this is gonna be bad or good. We're playing four holes, one through four, par four, par five, par four, par three. Par nine. All right, guys, we are back in the action. I mean, look at this dude. We're on hole one here, 443 yard, par four, straight away. So we're gonna see what Gabe has us hit off the first tee. Hey, Dad, Gabe, go! What club are we going on first tee here? You just pick one out of the bag. I'm feeling like this is the right one. Bruh. That's it, that's the club off the tee, man. Yes, 16 degree wedge off the tee, yeah! Best option. This is gonna be a rough day. Felt pretty good about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, that's the worst club you could have picked. Literally the worst club. So on the whole one, we have to use a 60 degree. Can't really even tell him that it was a bad choice, but it was a bad choice. Yeah, you know what? I feel great. The pan can go farther than this club, Gabe. But here's what he doesn't know. You can thin it. Oh no! Oh no! He topped it. He tried to thin it, and he topped it, folks. You know that's not good, Matt. So after my tremendous drive, you guys, probably the best in the group. G-Money fart his pants now. Yes, he also topped it! This is a great start Dude, so far, I, don't you think? Well done. He's already contemplating his next choice. Considering we barely made it off the tee box, hopefully he picks a decent club this time. I think I found one that looks pretty good. Well, guys, that's Matt's ball. That's the cart path. And this is what he's looking at straight away, probably over 300 yards. And you guys at home probably know what club he would need right now. Club me, Gabe. This is the one I'm thinking. There's, you don't look too happy about that. I know a lot of you guys at home probably think this is staged right now, but it literally is not. It's got red, and it looks like it could hit something a pretty far distance, so that, that was the choice. Just so you know, like 60 degree was really bad, but this is just as bad. Oh. All right, Matt, with the putter. Oh, the putter! This is the one we were just putting with, okay. Oh, that's why it looked familiar. I'll buy you another one if it breaks. This is my video. He shrekt it. Oh my. I wanted it! I shrekt it! Gabe, what is he using? Same club. Seeing the effectiveness on your hit is your best shot. He knows that this is a trash club for the future. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh! Oh my god. Why is that actually kind of good? Okay guys, this is where Matt's ball ended up just right of the fairway. He's got trees in his way. He still has about like 230 yards, so. Obviously, once again, you guys at home probably know what club he should be getting here. Gabe? All right, we're working with something now hybrid. Okay, like you went from the worst two picks to the best okay. pick. I'm learning oh. oh No, and Matt Look at this dude 
He got really aggressive with it. Really aggressive. I hit it way too hard. Great choice in the club, though. Obviously not off to the best start. Matt's still playing his four shot with that. The pin is probably on that line or so. So definitely not ideal. Gabe, what's the play here? Five. Once yes. again. Another great club choice. Dude, you. you're doing good. It's instinct. Play this one smart, guys. I'm not going to try and go for the... Maybe I will. I didn't come here to lay up, actually. Oh, my riser right over the trees might be in the weeds, though. Barely might have bounced into the weeds. All right, guys. This is where my ball ended up, right here in the fairway, left side. Playing my third shot from about 205 yards or so. Gabe's gonna give me my pick. What are we thinking, Gabe? Here's the club that you used. We could think about it, but thinking, I have to bring him into play. <laughs> How did I know you were gonna do that? Yes! <laughs> this isn't even caddy play anymore. This is offset. Matt hits a bad shot. Now I have to. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. This is what you came here to see, folks. The PAN that way. Garrett, now. I, this might come out of my hand. Oh, baby! Gabe, he actually crushed that. Let's try and wipe that off for you. That might have got into the action that way. That's the 150 stake right there. That's what I'm looking at straight away up the hill. Gabe, what are we doing? 50. Hey, hey. Guys, he's making me hit the attack, which is pretty good. I might not be able to get it there, but we'll try. We've already got the pan involved. We've got a putter and a 60 degree, and we haven't even made the green yet, you guys, so you figure out and do the math. I'm literally closing this down and hitting a huge hook. Just try to get it there. That's perfect. That's how I hit my shots anyway. Hashtag handsy hook. Whoa! Still short. I tried to get it there. Matt is here in the tall grass. Currently in the bushes! What do we got, man? Gabe's over here picking a club. Number nine. Nine. Number nine. It says nine on it. Nine iron? Ah! It could be worse, you gotta admit. Could be a lot worse. It could have to choke up a little bit like we're choking up on a choke up. Think about the math. Oh my, yes! Bro? That's the kind of stuff you came to see, folks! That's how you know about it! Nine iron out of the bushes! Bushes out of the nine iron! Think about the math for a second, Gabe. Catch it, release it, clean it. Yeah, yes! Look at this dude! That's good! Matt is putting for a six. I'm chipping for a five. Okay, guys, this is what I'm looking at. A little short of the green. I'm probably gonna have to get this up and down for a nice six because Matt is also for six right there. I did not expect him to hit that good of a shot, but Gabe... Guys... Hit it in. Yeah, I mean, you love to see it. He knows all about the game, clearly. Drive it from this distance, it's perfect. He's just driving it right in. Garrett clearly has practiced his shot every single day of his life, and he knows how to hit it. Nice shot. Really good shot. <laughs> well, folks, that was trapped. Whatever club you pick for the green, we have to use it for the, the entirety. entirety of the putts until we make it in the hole. You know exactly what we're putting with, Garrett. Of course we are. P.A. Sports. It's in the game. All right. We're putting with the pan, guys. Gabe is going to coach him out um, here. Since it's linear. What? The angle. That way? Yeah. Anything else? Pan. Do the math. Linear pan math, you guys. If that doesn't make any more sense, I'm telling you right now. Garrett for six. Starts to roll it in. Starts to roll it in. Yo! Looking clean. Garrett for now. Seven. Great two putt with the pan, you guys. Doesn't get better than that. All right. All right. Well, Matt's up here. What's the math? Same equation but we'll see if he does the math right. But if I already have the derivative of the linear x squared, then there's no need to do the math because it's already been done. Just apply hypotenuse. Hypnose, hip 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 apply the hippo. <laughs> All right, Matt putting for six here. Can he finish it out? And go one up. Did he do it? Oh. Sit, ay, 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 ay. Whoa! He did the math entirely wrong. He really did. You guys need a tutor. But it has been completed that way. The answer was two all along. They were putting in like decimals and stuff. Okay guys, on to hole two here. Matt and I are all square, both at three over par. We both made sevens on hole one. On to hole two here, which is a par five dog leg left, about 500 yards. Um, you want to hit it as far as possible. Let's see what Gabe has. We're catching on. All right, am I up? I'll go first. This is the ideal club. He's already learning, just caddy things. Just caddy things. Oh, what a shot. Calm, cool, crazy. Coming up next now, G Money fart his pan holes. I haven't swung this driver in so long. I know. If you guys didn't already know, I'm using Matt's clubs today. And that's technically his club, but my club at the same time, because I broke mine in the garage. I don't know what's going to happen here. 
Yeah, like that. What a sh oh. what a shot. That sun buck went straight right. That felt like it broke my wrist. That was a bad swing. Let's break it down from a fundamental standpoint. Play that one in slow motion as we see me coming through impact from the inside, not letting those hands get over, and just honestly sucking. So my ball ended up in the wrong fairway on hole three. I almost killed the group over here, so I'm glad I didn't. Just for the viewers at home, I still have about 220 yards, maybe 210. You know what that means. No, no. Okay. Hey, so you guys, while they're conversing about what club they should use, Garrett out here on the wrong fairway, of course, the hole kind of trickling its way all the way down here that way. You can see it through the trees. He has himself kind of a great opportunity to get wherever he wants with whatever club he chooses. What are we thinking over here on this side? Um, guys, it was a strong start, so we're going to bring it back. We're using it again. About that. All right. Okay, 60 degree from 210. I don't know if I love the action, but it is something. I'm going to lay up. Yeah, you are. Because remember, you have a 60 degree or whatever. Solid shot there, G. It's got to get it back and play, you know? Sometimes that's the name of the game. My caddy knows what's up. Hi right, guys, this is where Matt's balling it up. I'm going to stay in the cart for this one just because it is raining. He's right there from about... I don't know, that's the 200 stake, so he's probably, he's probably like 180. It's par five, so that's the second shot. That's where I ended up, about 150 for my third shot. Gabe, what club did you pick? The eight iron. Pick 60 for me and then eight for you, Gabe. It just, it hasn't been used yet, and I feel like it's being left out. See, that's the caddy mentality. He's got to use all the clubs and then redo it. Just caddy things. Yeah, you use them all, and then you can pick your favorite ones out of the ones that you've used. That's genius. Don't think I can get it there, you guys. Dude, he crushed that. No, it went in the sand trap. It went in the Mai Tai bunker. You know what bunkers, you know what cars are? I do know what cars are. And then it goes. Matt, my camera is currently at 69%, so we kind of need to hurry. <laughs> yes, schmuckhead. Garrett right here is about 155 yards out. What club are we going with, you guys? It's got color. It's got no game. Oh, you need consistency. No, we're going with this. Uh, guys. Putter, not probably not a good play, but nonetheless, Garrett's gonna make it twerk. Uh, gonna make it work. I'm gonna try and putt this. You doing better? Well, he putted that. Actually, great shot. I'm being 100% serious when I say this guy's never played I've golf. Never played. I've played like maybe two rounds of mini golf what he's doing today is just picking a random club whichever club looks good to him I and mean, that's just how it is guys yeah don't disrespect him he's literally just never played this game i'm trying just caddy things jct all right guys that's where my ball is just in the rough here on the left side from about 40 yards to get up and down for a nice five i would love to make a par gabe what club are we hitting let's okay. go right over here all right i'm gonna use this guy yeah. six guys he picked the six iron nice pick yeah yep that's the club i'm using it could be a lot worse so all right Garrett now, he's a good golfer. Oh my gosh, no way. Wow. Okay, not as bad as I thought, so solid. This is Matt's first bunker yeah. experience with Gabe. Those are called okay. bunkers, I know you probably never heard that, but they're just, it's just, it's like a hazard basically. Have you ever uh, been to the beach? Yeah, you know what beaches are, you know what sand is. Yeah, so I, so. I have to hit out of it now. Okay, we want something that you can hit the top without hitting the sand. Oh. No! Gabe knows literally all about the game! What did he... Guys... Is that what that's for? That is literally the perfect oh. thing. Oh, okay. Matt here with his bunker shot, his third shot to get up and down for birdie. Okay, it was really muddy, couldn't really get a lot of spin, but I will take that. That's actually really solid for birdie. Okay, we'll take it. Time to putt with the pen. Just catty things. Alright guys, this is what we're looking at. Matt up the hill for birdie, I'm up the hill for par. Garrett, I'm gonna go ahead and sink this in for PAR, I think. Or leave it a tad not, right. Not going in. Ugh, that's tough. Matt putting up the hill for birdie. This would be clutch. Dude, that pan is definitely better at putting. So much better. So much more control. So much smoother. I'm going to go ahead and tap this in for PAR because obviously. Nice par. Garrett now putting with the sauce pan, the proper pan to putt with. You guys know all about it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> All right, good putt. Double bogey on hole two, so that's not a very good start for me. I'm currently two down. We are playing stroke play. Gabe needs to come to play. You brought the saucepan. You did not bring the sauce. Okay, guys, after hole two, I'm now five over par with the double bogey there. Matt is three over par with a par there. We're on to hole three here, which is a par four, I don't know, like 400 yards or something up the hill to the right. Now we just need Gabe to give us a good club. What are we thinking? Because I'm uh, thinking Duncan, but you're thinking clubs. Now I'm kind of thinking Duncan. Fewer loved ones have struggled with Duncan problems. So have I. 
So go down to Dunkin' Donuts right now, grab yourself a mocha frappe, schmacka, schmicky, schmacker. Grab yourself something that's not actually coffee, because Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks are really starting to... What club are we thinking? Alright, we're thinking 56. Yeah, 56 times you're gonna punch in the head. Give me the club. Gah! How do we go from the longest hole in the court to a 56 degree? Gah! Right? This is really tough. This is really tough out here. Conditions, really tough. Yeah, we both have to hit it. That was pure, though. Okay, I hit that as hard as I could. Alright, blading this one up. He's gonna hit a hook. I know about it. Zoomed in. He got a little bit under that one. This is where I'm at, guys. I still have about 300 yards, so. This one. I, I, he hits the shots every day. I see him. Well, this is a terrible lie, so. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's what happens when you do the math, folks. You hit shots like that. Actually, whoa, Garrett. Dude. I picked up on Garrett's input. So you're going to use this one. <laughs> Guys, this is where he's at, just short of the fairway. And Matt could possibly get this to the green. He's about 260. That's exactly the club you need to be using. Nope. Yep, I saw it bounce, hit the tree. This is where my ball is, just right of the fairway. And guess what? Matt might have hit three with the perfect club, but he's even with me in the trees. That's what we're looking at from about 100 yards. You guys probably know what club I should be using. Gabe? The best part about it is I have no idea what club. So I'm thinking, I don't think that we've used this one. No, we have, but it turned out well. Let's use this. We're gonna use it again. Nine iron? Yeah. Okay, we're using the nine iron. Guys, that's actually not terrible. Oh, wow. Oh, kind of that's a poop kick. That? Okay, we're on the green for birdie, though. That's my first birdie putt of the day. You gotta hit that with a pan. That was clean. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, my. oh my god. Oh my gosh! Been money so far in club choices. Let's go ahead and just do another one. Do your thing. Just do your just caddy thing. This is where he's at. He's about the same distance as me. A. A, a stands for apple cider attack wedge. Just like that. That's good. See that one on the next hole. Matt is just long of the green. I'm on the green, so I got the pan. What club did you pick for him? Gabe picked the five iron for Matt. We're gonna try and go up there and record without the rain destroying the camera. All right, Matt here with a five iron. Well, he got it on, so now we're both using the pan. Currently setting this camera up on a tripod just long of the green, covered by a tree because it is raining. All right, Garrett, make it. Sit. Garrett, yeah, yeah. That was from far. Did you get it? Don't touch my ball. Bro! Okay guys, after hole three, I am now, I'm six over par, Matt is four over par. We both made bogey there. We are onto our last hole, which is a par three hole four out here at Sunflower Hills. This one's gonna be a tricky one for Gabe. Par three down the hill, like I already explained. That pin's over there on the right side, just over the bunker. Yeah, let's see what Gabe has to offer. What are we thinking, Gabe? We got a nice solid par three, I don't need, I know you don't know what that means, but I'm thinking some sort of iron, anything good. You're good. I thought we were supposed to start with that. The, you, we are. That's the best part about it. With the driver, par three, 160 yards. And that might be in the water. Did that go in the water? Nope. And uh, Garrett clearly knows what he's doing. That's where Matt's ball ended up, just left of the water. He's looking at that over that bunker. That is me right there. Also kind of have not an easy shot. Yep, I do what I can. So Matt is using putter just short of the green. This is normally what you would use, actually. Really solid choice by Gabe. No way. No way. <laughs> wow. Okay. The game has been unbelievable today. That's impressive. Yeah. Like really impressive. Straight up. What club are we thinking here? We're about 35 yards. All right, two hybrid. <laughs> you guys, if you can see our facial expressions when we're doing this, it's insane. I'm gonna try and flop shot it, guys. Uh, very stupid idea by Garrett, but nonetheless. Um, 
Wow. Yeah. Great shot. Well, guys, it's raining again, so this is our final hole. Matt has to three putt, and I have to one putt in order to tie. Solving Rubik's cubes and whatnot. Gabe, are you ready to do this outro? Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, did I mess it up? No, I then do that. Then do that. See, now you have the first layer done. Right, you have the first layer done. Now you're working the second layer. Okay, might need to speed ramp this a little bit, just a tad. I used to be good at doing a Rubik's Not cube like this. Not as good as I once was. I did a Rubik's cube 37 seconds behind my back one time. Ooh. See, solved. look, you just did it without looking for a second. Yeah, no. Outro time, Gabe, what do we think? That is about it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I actually caddy for um, Tiger Woods, yeah. Woods, as you saw my hybrid shot that went straight in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, GM Golf.